this is me Rabab Zera from TechX Media. We are at Intersect 2025 and I have with me right now Dr. Bogus Bogosian. He is CTO and Sales Director at Epsotech. So let's welcome Dr. Bogus on TechX Media. Thank you very much. Bro. Very nice to meet you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you here with us. So, uh, Dr. Bogos, uh, please tell us about Ipsotech, what it does as a company, what kind of products and solutions you have. Sure. So, uh, actually, it started with a, a PhD program that I started in King's College London in the UK. As soon as we graduated, we opened the company in 2001, and our focus is on computer vision. So, in very early stages of computer vision, we were looking at movements and tracking people, etc. And our clients were like London Underground and the Met Police at the time. And, you know, we've come a very long uh, way in the 20 plus years now that we are in this business, uh, bringing into it artificial intelligence and all sorts of new technologies to offer, you know, different types of solutions to our clients from security improvements to health and safety compliance, uh, looking at operational aspects where we can optimize uh, some of those, but also looking at business intelligence. So how would uh, you measure KPIs around your site in, in order to improve efficiency and also operations. So since we are at Intersect 2025, um, tell us how important is the event for your company and what will be your key takeaways from the event? Absolutely. I've been attending Intersect since 2010 was my first one. So it's been a long time. I only missed two because of COVID, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it's a great show and I think it's one of the main shows in the world for our industry. We see all our colleagues, partners, but also our competitors here, which is good. It's good to have healthy com competition. Uh, and, you know, we have shown in the last few years, uh, every year, a new innovation here. And this year we're looking at generative AI capabilities. Uh, so we started with a natural language models where you can speak to our system rather than configure it. And it will look for different events and objects. But also we've now bought a, a VLM, which is a visual large models where they're able to understand the content of the scene. And, you know, like humans, they will be able to tell you if something is unusual and suddenly there's a flood or a fire. Uh, so this is a very exciting time to be actually in the technology. In fact, we are also nominated for an award tonight. So I look forward to being at the award ceremony and fingers crossed. We wish you luck Thank for you tonight's much. award ceremony. Um, uh, so, uh, we have recently entered in 2025. Uh, looking back uh, to the previous year, 2024, how was the year for uh, 2024 for the company? Well, clearly technology is, is what drives us and 24 is when gen ai you know became mainstream and we saw a lot of excellent use cases and all the also our clients started deploying it but i think the the, the bulk of this value and and, and um, uh, large-scale deployments of gen ai will be this year and we're also bringing new technologies around agents uh, which are ai agents that could automate a lot of processes both in front end and back end so this is going to be the next you know step change in what our technology and uh, will be able, able to offer our clients. So uh, tell us about, um, uh, is, are there any projects or uh, any announcements in the pipeline? What are your goals for 2025? So, um, you know, we, we operated in the Middle East for a very long time. And, and since then, this company is, has grown uh, to become uh, an international organization. And we're part of the Evident Group, uh, which supports us both on R&D and route to market and also uh, other aspects of, of our operation. And through those channels, we've been very successful end of last year to close some major projects in the US and also in uh, Europe. Uh, but Middle East stays one of the you know, main areas where we invest a lot and we see a lot of projects. And to be honest, uh, you know, the thanks goes to the Middle East governments. We've worked very closely with you know, UAE, Qatar, Saudi governments, and there's the fact that they believe in technology and they invest uh, into AI. It's helped our company and also in the industry to excel. And majority of the time, we see the challenging uh, you know, projects happening here, which when they learn work from and then improve our product and take it to the uh, rest of the world. So we're very happy that you know, we've taken a, an, an essential part in, in this region's uh, technology and project development. And 2025 is not going to be any different. We have very large projects lined up for this year. We're already speaking to our clients, which visited us in Intersect. Yet another uh, reason why Intersect is an important show. All our clients have been here and came to see us. So it's, it's, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Bowers. It pleasure. was a pleasure talking to you. Very nice speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Intersect 2025. Goodbye. TechX your trusted technology media partner.